What does mindfulness have to do with menopause? Everything. My name is Kara Bradley. I'm a menopause performance coach and body mind teacher. And I've been practicing and teaching mindfulness for many, many years. Having gone through most of the worst of my menopause journey, I will tell you that mindfulness really matters when it comes to menopause. Mindfulness is simply a state of being present. It's a state of being aware of what's happening around you and in you. It's being aware of thoughts. It's being aware of emotions, of physical sensations. It's being aware of your surroundings and what other people are doing around you. Practicing mindfulness can really help you not only be aware of the changes in your body, your brain, and in your emotions during menopause, but it can also put you back in charge of seeking solutions and recognizing that this is part of this evolutionary process. It can also put you back in charge of your own health journey. So how do we start? The first thing we need to do is to be honest with ourselves and to name how we're feeling. Becoming aware of our symptoms, both of our body and our mind. How are you feeling physically? What is going on? What are some of the symptoms that you're experiencing? I really encourage you to get out a journal and to write a long list of symptoms. Even if you don't think they're menopause related at all, write them down. This is part of the process of becoming aware. Name your symptoms. How am I feeling physically? What's happening for me mentally? What's going on emotionally? And then how am I feeling out there in the world? How am I relating with others or not relating with others? Naming our symptoms is like freedom. It gets it out of our mind and onto paper. And then we can go to the second step, which is to put your hand on your heart and to acknowledge that your body and your brain are going through a massive reorganization right now during the perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause journey. So acknowledging and, and being compassionate with yourself and recognizing that you're doing the best that you can right now is a really, really big part of mindfulness. So we want to be aware and we also want to be compassionate. So those are two really important steps to practicing mindfulness during menopause. Once you're aware and you can practice compassion, it then puts you in charge to start seeking solutions. You can start to examine step by step through the list of your symptoms, some of the solutions that are available to you. You likely wanna seek out some support from your healthcare provider. There are lifestyle changes that you will want to change. There are also stress management practices that are so important during this time. But for so many women, if you're swimming in the symptoms of menopause, you may feel overwhelmed. So the first step is to practice mindfulness on menopause. So once again, you wanna name your symptoms, give yourself some compassion, examine those symptoms, and then get into action in seeking solutions. So mindfulness and menopause go hand in hand. I hope that this was helpful. I'm happy to support you with some mindfulness practices here on my channel. And also don't forget to subscribe.